all to my channel if this is your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's video i'm going to make a simple video on how to cut this trending cow neck cow dress kaftan and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to join us on facebook three designs on instagram three designs and also visit our website we have amazing illustration up there and i'm going to put down the details in the description box below if you find this video very educative click on that subscribe button don't forget to turn on the notification bell now let's move straight now for this um trending boo boo note that you can make yours with two fabric whereby you mix two fabrics together or you can make use of like one single fabric okay so i'm going to be drafting this on my pattern paper first now the reason is because i want to combine two fabrics together so in case if that is what you want to do and if you are making use of just a single fabric you can also draft it on your pattern first while you just transfer to your fabric it kind of make it easier for you that way so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our basic lines that is the lines required for our dress so the first thing now we have is our shoulder to bust we have nine shoulder to up or we have nine inches shoulder to bust we have nine and half shoulder to under bust we have 13 and half shoulder to waist we have 17 inches waist to upper hip waist to upper hip we have six inches waist to lower hip we have eight inches these are just like basic lines right so i will go ahead now for the length of the fabric it depends on how long or short you want it to be okay so yours can be short yours can be a little below the knee yours could be very long it depends whichever way you are still going to arrive at the same result so i will go ahead and connect my lines together i've gone ahead to connect the lines together now so what i have is about 30 inches now how did i come about this 30 inches basically just add up your sleeve length to your shoulder measurement okay so i have about 30 inches because it's going to get up to this part so you can just measure from your center back to where you want it to get up to okay so about 30 inches is fine for me now on our bust line on our bust line we'll go ahead and mark in one inch on the bust line go ahead and mark in one inch on the bust line so we have one inch here on our waistline this is our waistline on our waistline now go ahead and mark in three inches on the waistline so we have our three inches on our waistline now on our hip line on our hip line on the hip line now go ahead and divide your hip measurements by four divide your hip measurement by four so my hip measurement is 38 38 divided by four i have 9.5 inches now 9.5 inches go ahead and add six inches to it why are we adding six inches because we want it to be it's a very free dress and it's not fitted at all so go ahead and add six inches you can add five inches if you don't want it to be too full or too bogus right if measurement is 9.5 so we have 9.5 plus 5 inches so we have about 14.5 inches on our hip line now we'll go ahead and mark 14.5 inches so divide your hip measurement by two and you add about five to six inches depends on how full or fitted you want the dress to be so this is what we have now now the next thing we are going to do now is on your gown length on 
your gown length our gown length is usually very pencil okay and that is the beauty of the dress so just mark like the inches that you can of course at this part where we have our hip measurements which is 9.5 our initial hip measurements which is 9.5 and like we said earlier we want the lower part to be pencil right so you can go ahead and mark 10 inches you can mark 11 12 if it's too big you can also cut it out to trim it so that you can have like this v shape and also note that um it shouldn't be too pencil also because you are going to work so you can just play around it and just like walk around it also because if you make this of five or six inches in as much as you want it to be pencil you might not be able to work freely with that so you can start from 10 inches 11 12 it also depends on you and if you want something very fitted around your um leg area right so for me i'm going to make it of 10 inches which is fine by me i have 10 inches at this point now i will also connect this line where we have our 10 inches to our hip line have here to your hip line now once you do that you are going to see this v shape automatically right so if you feel like it's not v enough go ahead and take it in if you feel like you want it but it should be fitted don't make it straight that is not the beauty of the style it should be fitted okay like a v shape around this part and you can see that now once you are done with that we will now go ahead and connect this hip measurement up to where we have our waist measurement that's a whole lot so you can just go ahead and place your pattern master this way hip line to your waistline and you can see that just place your pattern master and pattern masters are available at our store i'm going to put down the details below if you want to get yours okay so let me just go ahead and extend this hip line this way So this is what we have now you also connect what you have on your waistline connect what you have on your waistline to your bust line and then you just extend it up to this part So make sure you don't have like a sharp edge around here so you can just smoothen this part up and you also smoothen this part up so that you don't have like a sharp edge around this area. So once you are done with that, our dress is almost ready. See our shoulder slope, we have our neckline and we also have our caftan effect. now another thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your round sleeve opening okay now note that it depends on your round sleeve measurements and how open you want it to be and how open you want it to be because it's usually very free around the arm area so you can make it of 13 inches 12 inches or just make use of your basic round sleeve measurements now what i mean by that is this for me my round sleeve measurement is 12 inches just make use of that 12 inches you don't need to divide it into two normally we usually divide our round sleeve measurements into two but for the sake of this we want the opening to be wide so just make use of your exact round sleeve measurement so if your round sleeve is 14 inches just make use of what you have and if you feel like you want the opening to be bigger you can go ahead and add inches to it so for me i'm going to make use of 12 inches which is fine so from our shoulder slope now from our shoulder slope we'll go ahead and mark 12 inches which is my round sleeve so make use of your own round sleeve so this becomes our new line now on this point now go ahead and mark one inch on this point go ahead and mark one inch 
Now, once you are done with that, we just want to move in with one inch so that we can differentiate where our sleeve leg, where our sleeve is and where the basic dress is. That is just the essence of coming in with one inch just to differentiate what we have at that point. So once you've done that, now from this your one inch now, this is where you will now connect to this part of your dress. So just connect it this way. And another thing is that it even eliminates this sharp joining you will have at this point. So this becomes your new um, this becomes your new line. So once you are cutting, okay, I'll show you guys when I want to cut that. Now, another thing you have to do now is for the front block, for the front block now, you are also going to determine how high you want it to be. Note that it depends on how high you want your dress to be, okay? Now, I'm going to make it of about 10 inches high. So this is where we have our 10 inches. Now, on this part, just to know how many inches you want to cut off for it, I'm going to make it of 2 inches. So you can make it of 3 inches if you want it to be very open. It depends on you. Or 4 inches. It doesn't depend on how wide you want it to be. So I'll go ahead and connect this this way. So this is what we are going to have for the lower part of it. So now, let's go ahead and cut this out. So guys, you can see what we have here. You can see the effect already. You can see what it looks like. So this is what we are going to have. Now, I'm going to transfer this into my fabric. And like I said earlier, I'm going to be mixing two African prints together. Guys, I'll be mixing this African print. And African prints are available at our store, both in wholesale and in retail prices. So, I'll be mixing this African print with this one, okay? Now, the reason for my combination is... This black fabric has like this golden yellow and also this has like a golden yellow. So I just want to like use the yellow to mix it up. Now when you're mixing fabrics, you should also make sure that both fabrics kind of have similar colors or you at times you can just use like two different fabrics but make sure they have similar colors, at least one similar color that can blend together. White on this part also, it also has like blue and on this part it also has blue also. So this fabric is just like, is mainly yellow with touch of blue and this is a, a very flower print, okay? So while you are mixing fabric, don't just mix like two red colors together. Try to make sure that it blends and you can just leave yours with just one single fabric. It's fine. Either way, so you are going to have a good result also. So, so guys, we folded our fabric into two. Now go ahead and place your pattern on it. Now, let me just explain this, right? If you are making use of a single fabric, for an example, you are making use of a single fabric. Now, fold your fabric into two and place your pattern on it. There is no need for you to open up this part. You are not opening up this part if you are making use of a single fabric, right? But if you are making use of two fabrics whereby you want to combine two fabrics together, you will need to open up this part and you will also need an allowance at this part to stitch it together. Now, let me come over again. If you are making use of a single fabric, once you fold your fabric into two, go ahead and place your pattern directly this way. You can see that there is no allowance here and then you cut it out. But if you are combining your fabrics together, now move your fabric a little, keep about one inch here for your allowance. Now, the excess of this one inch is, or half an inch is to is to serve as your joining allowance or your sewing allowance to, to stitch both fabrics together right now 
the reason why we are folding the fabric into two even if you are combining your fabrics together is this is basically because we want to achieve both the front and the back block together so when you cut this into two and you open it up you are going to have two pieces one is going to serve as the front while the other will serve at the back i hope that is clear now we we'll place our fabric this way you will discover that i did not cut out my neckline yet why because I want to make it a one single pattern to achieve both the front block and the back block. So we'll cut the neckline later on once we've gotten the basic gown ready. So like I said, I want to combine my fabric. So I left about half an inch which will serve as my sewing allowance for me. And then I will go ahead and cut this out. You can see how this part... You can see how this part goes in to give us that pencil effect. combining your fabric this is what you are going to have you are going to have one single piece like this let me open it up if you are not combining your fabric this is what you are going to have one single piece like this for the front and another one for the back but if you are combining your fabric now let's go ahead and open it up to give us two pieces after opening it up you are going to have two pieces one for the front and one for the back because we are combining our fabrics together so I'll go ahead and set this aside in the other fabric also we also have two pieces also right now we are going to take up one piece this way take one piece this way and the second piece so that is the reason why we left about half an inch for our sewing allowance earlier right so we have the first fabric and we have the second fabric now we'll go ahead and stitch this together after stitching it together we will now have a complete front block and a complete back block so once I'm done with that, before I will be able to... Now you will also discover that we marked out like a V part where we want to be opened in the front block. So after joining the, both the two pieces to achieve that, if you are combining two fabrics together, it is advisable you join the two pieces to give you a single piece before you cut out the v neckline for the front but if you are making use of one form of fabric that is one fabric where you are not going to have opening at this part you can go ahead and just cut out your opening directly on the front block okay so now let me go straight into the sewing machine and couple this up i say sewing machine now let me go straight into the sewing room and couple this up to give us a single piece to couple it up so we have like a single piece now so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and cut out the neckline so we'll go ahead and cut out the neckline my pattern paper this way I'm going to go ahead and use my pattern paper and then we'll cut out the neckline. After, after that, for the front block, we are going to take out this V shape for the front block, okay? So I'll go ahead and cut this out. And So guys, after cutting it out, you can see the neckline and for the lower part, you can see our V shape. Now, the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to take the back block ahead and M the neckline after aiming our neckline now we'll take the back block and place it this way as you can see you can see that this part also falls on this part 
go ahead and stitch your shoulder after stitching your shoulder at this point where we have our sleeve opening just go ahead and aim it this way just to fold it in once you are done with that you go ahead and stitch once you are done with that from this part of once we are done with that, from this part of our dress, you go ahead and stitch it all the way down. Now, let me just come over again. Go ahead and aim your neckline. After aiming your neckline, join the two shoulders together to give us a single piece. Once you are done with that, aim where you are going to have your round sleeve. Now, you go ahead and stitch this side all the way down. For the front block where we have our opening, just go ahead and also aim the front block this way. So once you are done with that, you will have a complete piece and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is what it looks like. So I just went ahead to add like a belt to it and you guys, you can see how beautiful it is. Just check out the combo like the Afri the african print combination and you see how beautiful it is so this is what it looks like it has the slits and you can see how it falls and drape around the hip area so thanks so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe